So, so changes in the optical system. The first thing is the TIR prism. Okay, this is the nest that the chips sit on um, that will separate the white light in, into three colors and then put them back together. Okay, um, which is it's a mar it's a marvel of engineering. However, it's got very high tolerances. It's very difficult to make, and the coatings are also difficult to make. They have to handle the high angles, um, and and the surfaces have to be very high quality. It's expensive. I think there's only two companies in the world that can make these. Okay, and anytime you have a, a limited supplier base, uh, you have high costs. Okay, so so that's the first thing that, that can go. And what we do is we have two dichroic plates, and you'll see these upstairs. Um, so instead of this complicated prism structure, we have two plates of glass. Okay, there's nothing cheaper than in optics than making two flat plates of glass. Okay. <laughs> Um, and they're small, all right, they're a little over an inch, and they have coatings on them. The coatings are custom Kodak design coatings, but they're made with materials and processes that, the, that pretty much any coder in the industry can do. So you're open up, opening up your supplier base, and anytime you open up your supplier base, where that can be made in China, Taiwan, Japan, wherever, okay, in many different places, you can lower the costs. So being, having the small angles and narrow bandwidths enable us to to use simple plates. 